What is going on guys? So today I'm going to show you and explain what a dynamic collection in Steam is. So this is in your Steam library where you have all your games and you can create a dynamic collection. What this is, is it'll automatically put games into this collection for you based on the criteria you give it. So you don't have to manually put in all these games by yourself and then organize your collections. You can just select like a genre, a play state, um, its capability to play whatever, multiplayer co-op, uh, what controllers it supports. So this also ties into my filtering video, how to filter your Steam games. This is another way to do it. So you can create a dynamic collection of only multiplayer games. So anyways, I'll show you how to do this. So make sure you have Steam open um, and then go to the library tab and click on collections. So I actually have this dynamic collection made just to show you that, but let's create a new one. So um, we'll do video. YouTube collection, knowing that this is for the YouTube video. And instead of creating a basic collection like I described where you have to drag games into it and then yeah, add them yourselves, uh, you can just do this, create dynamic collection. So this gives you filtering options now. So if I click single player, we also get like a preview right away on the left hand side here. You'll see YouTube collection, 10 of my games have single player capabilities. Three of them don't. Counter-Strike 2, come on, man, that's sad. How does it not have single player anymore? Why did they remove that? Anyways, that's a, that's a rant. So um, if you scroll down here, you'll also be able to see the games um, less than 20 gigabytes. It orders them by size, which is cool. You don't have to sort them by size. You can sort them alphabetically. You can sort them all, all kinds of ways that you want. This is sorting within your collection. So when you see the collection, this is what it's going to pop up on the main screen. Not on the left-hand side really here, but um, yeah. So let's just add some more filters. So let's say single player games that can support the Xbox controller and that drop me trading cards. Cool. Battlefield 1, arguably not single player and controller, but you can do it. You can play a campaign. And yeah, you can, uh, oh, my unselected trading cards. And you can play a campaign and you can beat it. And yeah, you can play the game with a controller, but it's an FPS, like I said, first person shooter. You'll get wrecked by uh, keyboard mouse dudes. So anyways, this is done now. So I actually don't have to click save or anything. Um, we can just see the collection like this. And if I go home, um, it saves my collection on the left hand side here you'll see dynamic collection so like let's say i install a game after this that fits this collection's criteria it automatically will get inserted into the collection on the left hand side we can also add a shelf on the home screen here and if we click dynamic collection um oh i would think it would show me the games but i guess it's broken Oh, sorry, YouTube collection. <laughs> I brain farted. I called this one YouTube collection. So yeah, we can sort the games again in a different way this way within the collection, but this is the main screen view of this. So we can also go back into this collection screen, click in here, scroll up, and then we get full access to what's filtering here. We can remove filters by clicking X or just by unchecking. And you see live updates like Valheim doesn't have trading cards, but it does support controller and single player gameplay. So that's pretty much it guys. Uh, hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, drop a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.